long distance look at our training barn. Okay, here's the outside. We'll do a close-up of the windows, I'm sure. I'll let Bill take you on a tour. Hey, Danny. Danny. Okay, go. Hey, here's the uh, front of the barn. You can see we have uh, two doors, and the alleyway is 15 feet wide. If Beth will back it up a little bit, you'll see all the windows are the I same. can't. What windows? You mean these? Can you get the top two? Yeah, this, these two. There they go. That one. And then we have a concrete apron all the way around the barn. Oh, you better tell her about the French drains, too. That's important. And we don't have gutters. We have a French drain. There's a plastic pipe underneath the gravel that goes down to the bottom of a hill somewhere. And that is that. So, no gutters. You want to show her the windows? Here are the windows. These are that was so cool. Windows can open during the summer. And the windows go up and down. So that the, you can have just a screen at a, in the April or uh, so. The metal to where they can't put their head out or anything. Let me show that latch. I think the latches are cool. Oh, there we go. Very cool. And there's, of course, go ahead. The, the uh, highway is, is 15 feet wide. Well, how high? And I'm guessing that's about mm, 12 feet high to our hayloft, but you probably don't need to have that high. I don't think she's going to have a hayloft. I think she, she is going to have me. a hayloft oh, in the sorry, center. Sorry. And we don't have any, but not here, not above the stalls because. We ride in and out of the stalls, and if a horse is rear up, we don't want them to hit their heads. So, here's the wash rack. It is 12 feet by one, two, 12 feet by 10 feet. We have rubber around the sides here, and we have shelves in here to store things. These are all, yeah, it's a, it's a lined in rubber, so if they bump their hocks or something when they're being squirrely. If, oh, we've taken Can all the... Can you come in here and look at it this way? Yeah, and tell her about the drain being in well, the corner. Well, the drain's in the corner. You always want the drain in the corner, not in the in the center where the horse's step. Yeah, so this whole thing slopes slowly downhill to the drain. And we have a opening because you can bring a hose here from the tack room that stays warm during the winter. And it can be slid through the tack rooms in the room right. next door. And we have a vent from the dryer that comes out here, keeps the tack room warmer because air does not get into the tack room from the outside. And you can open and shut that. In the summertime, we open it to vent the dryer out here. In the wintertime, we close it, and then the dryer vents into the tack room, and it's nice and warm. Okay. So you want, what do you want me to do from well, this? Have, you know, these are our waters that go into the warm tack the room. They're recessed, so recess. horses can't hit them. And we have a heater tape to keep them from freezing during the winter. And we have a metal drain. Don't let them put a plastic drain in there. You want metal down there. That can be replaced if it's ever broken. Okay, that's where we just were. That's the drain. I mean, in the outside faucets. Here's the tack room, Rimrock Vaughn. I should, I should turn it this way because you can get more in. Anyway. It's the tack room. Are you taking? Yes. Washer and dryer in here. You want the dryer on the end because you don't want any water on the you don't want any water lines on the outside wall. The water lines are here that Speak we can up. keep a, keep track of them. Um, this is the vent from the dryer. It goes into the other room, but I have a vent I can change it to where the uh, warm moist air can come in here and it keeps the leather from rotting. And we have a sink and make sure nothing is on the outside wall. You want all the water on the inside wall where you can get to it and work on it if you have to. Don't don't have them put it in the wall. Here's the, also, all of the uh, walls are six inches insulation so it stays pretty warm. It takes a very little heater to keep this thing warm. It's not an it's issue. A very little heater. Right we there. have a concrete floor. Um, can be you swept can maybe out put easily. rubber linoleum or whatever you want to put. But if you ever put linoleum it's going to be an issue. It'll flip up on you. Here's and our bathroom and our water heater in here. We have lots of heater. shelves and storage. Oh, wait a minute. Let me show you that. 
there's storage shelves in the bathroom. And Here's one of our cows on the Sia. <laughs> Wait a minute. This is a cow that <laughs> was pretty useless on the Sia. You can see Beth is jumping this cow. <laughs> And before Sia, this cow would not do anything. After a little bit of a Sia, it became a jumping cow. Okay, this is our little refrigerator we have in here. And her milk is really good for milk. <laughs> <laughs> and that's uh, all our saddle racks against the wall. That's just all our medications and other little... That's actually where our dog sits while we're outside training. That's why it's out in the middle of the room. He likes it there. Oh, wait a minute. There's Bill's picture on the wall of the bathroom. Okay. okay. This is our feed room where we have our feed and the hay that we bring down from upstairs. But we can throw hay into each of the stalls from upstairs. Uh, the only thing I would do different in this room is I would not have a ladder. I would have a staircase Stairs. going from here to here. You can store plenty of things underneath it. This is our feed bin. Stairs instead of a ladder, okay. It's metal. There's the barn cat. And we'll send that cat with you. <laughs> oh, Mac. This is metal so the rats don't get into it. Here's a recycle can and a trash can. And our forks and rakes and supplies. And this is the concrete floor in here. And you put tallets to keep the hay up off the ground. You don't want hay sitting on the ground. This is our break install. And it's 12 feet by 17 feet. It's bigger than the others. Let me show her the lights that we use. Well, I, okay, let's turn turn them off and I, I'll be able to, there we go. I'm always on the side, but you don't want them overhead because then the horses can rear up and hit their heads and break them. So these are both. And you can show her, this is a storage room over the feed room. Yeah. We do have a loft over the feed room and the uh, oh. tech room, but you can store things in. There we go. This is the typical stall, except about half of them are we bed in uh, grass bedding that we raise here, and half of them are just in sawdust because we ride in and out of them during the day, so they just get sawdust. Again, the well, screens on every window. The, sure the door to do that, put the feet through. This is about, um, gosh, about eight inches by ten inches to put the feed through on the outside of the screens. Right. Okay, talk about the doors of the stalls. Uh, the doors are, sl are sliding. It's la loud. Wait a minute, let me show it how that happened. So these just pull out and then drop. You get the <laughs> I can't do this and film at the same time. Something about the screens. You had you were very picky about your screens. Well, I can't her, remember now why. She, she might if she's getting a mortar building. She's probably going to have the uh, pipe in there, which is. There it is. This is an opening for the hay. In the ceiling. But mine needs to be bigger because I can't put an elevator in there. So it should be at least. Can we give her dimensions? Another, that is, it needs to be at least five, five feet by five feet to work. Okay, so that should be. Right. Bigger, okay. You have lights down the center. Yeah. Well, we got to turn them off for me to show. Well, no, I guess I can do this. Lights down the center of the aisle. Oh. There we go. <clears throat> okay, wait a minute. <clears throat> we put fans up in the back. They're down now. We can turn them off out here, so the fans can go on and off. Tell this is the brackets for the fans. Right? See, these are the. Uh, there's a outlet up there that you plug the fans into, and so fans can hang on the wall during the summertime. OK. 
Okay, here's the other side of the barn. I filmed the first side as we were coming in, and this is the other side with the equip equipment shed attached. Here's our tractor and manure spreader and feed cart, or golf cart, and trailer, and our farm truck over there. And our so round tree. pen, but that's just... And this is Bill's little baby barn. This is actually his pride and joy because he built this. We had it roofed and framed, and then he built, he put all the rest of it, did all the rest of it himself. So he's very proud of this little barn. It's also very close to our house, which is through the woods there. So it's, we walk down here at night, and this is where all our personal horses live. These are our babies. So, yes, there are only three stalls. Hi, buddy. <laughs> Bud, how you do? Diesel, steeplechaser. It's Chief Chicago, who's a steeplechaser. Uh, we thought we were going to take some shortcuts here because this is our barn for our horses, but we put up cheap screens and they kicked holes in them real quickly. So don't, you, well, you you wouldn't be of a mind to shortchange anybody anyway. So the screens are fine. Those are heavy duty screens that they stand and can hang their heads out. This is a storage with a little notch there. Typical little touch that Bill put in here. This is a storage space here. This is the feed area. It's not closed off. It's just an area here. This is Bill's um, shop. All his uh, equipment and all his tools. It's a prettier time of year to film this. Um, this guy's being laid up. He's still a colt. He's a two-year-old colt and can get pretty rambunctious so he doesn't get a little apron in his in his screen. All right hopefully Denny this answered some questions. If you have this is obviously a much narrower aisle we don't ride in and out of this barn. Uh, if you have any other questions, please just call us and, and call Bill. He knows everything there is to know about building barns. <laughs> Thanks. Take care. Just to give you an idea of how close the barn, that last little barn is to the house. That's the front of the house. And there's the little barn. So... Hmm, 150 yards maybe, something like that. Anyway, in the summertime you can't see any of that because it's all wooded and green and much, much prettier than it is now. Anyway, call us if you need us. Thanks, Denny.